virtually all China, with its vast population of between four and five hundred million people, is now under communist control. Only the islands of Formosa and Hainan remain for the present beyond the reach of the new regime, the People's Republic of China, ruling from Peking. Britain's recognition of Red China is a recognition of these facts. It does not in any way imply approval of Chinese communism any more than of any other communism. It's obviously realistic, however, to acknowledge that Mao Zedong and his government ruled China. At the same time, in fairness to Dr. Chen Tin Si, hitherto nationalist China's ambassador here, who is well known and popular in Britain, we give space in this newsreel to his view of the situation. Dr. Cheng's statement naturally takes the line we should all expect in the circumstances. I naturally deplore the decision of your government, not only as ambassador of my country, but also as a true friend of this country. For this decision, I sincerely believe is against his real and higher interests, as history will show. It's equivalent to very much, whilst we are still very much alive, and history will say that China has received her, not our blood, not from her foes, but from her friends and former allies. I belong to no party and have never played any part in politics. But on account of my long and happy association with this country, I was specially selected by my government to represent it here with the primary object of deepening our friendship with the British people. So far as that is concerned, I think I have done my duty. <laughs> 